The next fly we're going to tie is the famed Teeny Nymph, named after its developer, Jim Teeny. It's a simple fly to tie except for one little tricky detail, but it uses a lot of complex materials. Why don't you tell us what they are? <laughs> a lot of com All right, I'll use a tan, eight-aught tying thread, and the only material in the fly is some pheasant tail fibers. But and the one the, complex thing you're saying is getting the measurement right, right for the size fly you're using. Now, Jim ties these in a million different colors, mm -hmm. and he's got available purple and pink red. and green and chartreuse yeah. and red and any color pheasant tail you can imagine. Now, I have a, a 2X long. It's a size 10. And again, he ties them in lots and lots of different sizes on here. I will dress the tying the th hook with the tying now, thread. This is the only fly he will fish with. I, I've Whether read he's that, fishing yeah. for salmon or steelhead, I suppose in salt water. He's got Just some great big long things with legs coming out all over. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yeah. And sometimes, of course, when you're tying on a really long hook, uh, one, bent, one uh, hunk of feather isn't enough mm -hmm. to finish the hook. Well, then you just tie in another bunch and keep going. Now, what I've done is I've just stripped off some of those fibers. I'm trying to get them as even as I can because this is, like you said, the tricky part. How do you know where to tie it in so that when you wrap this on, you're going to have the correct amount of length of... See, those tips are going to form tips, the legs. Yes, to come after back After you underneath. wrap the whole thing around the hook. So now, you don't know. We'll just wrap it on and see what happens here. The now, only thing I'm going to do is hold them as tightly as I can in my hand yeah. and just wrap forward. Now, if the legs are a little long, it's better than if they're too short. Too short, that's correct. Now, if I were tying this for myself, I would rib the fly I with, think so. with a Make fine much copper more durable. wire. Yeah. Now, I've lost one of them there, but I'm going to go ahead and tie that down, what I have, and not worry. Hey, you nailed it. That might be a good one. I think so. And then I'm going to just grab all of these, fold them to the rear, and then you build the little head. And as you wrap backwards, you capture all those legs to keep them going out toward the bend of the hook. And as that fly goes through the water, it just swims and kicks and carries well, that's perfect. On. It is. That one came out very Absolutely well. Absolutely right. Now, you know, the first time I ran into these, uh, I was invited to go fishing with Jim, whom I'd never met, mm -hmm. with he and his dad and a couple of other guys up in British Columbia. And we were going to be up there fishing for pink salmon, among other things. And uh, which I had never done, and there were salmon rolling all over the place, and I went upstream above them a ways, and every time I looked down, one of the three of them would have a fish on. Oh, really? And I couldn't catch one. No matter what I put on, I could not catch one. They were laughing and having a great time, and I went downstream to see what they were doing. Well, it turns out they were using a number four black teeny nymph. Okay. And f they gave me some, and I started catching fish. And for the whole time, what do you use? No, I'm experimenting with the black number four. Oh, wow. And I've since caught uh, sockeye salmon on them, uh -huh. uh, a variety of things. But as I say, that's all Jim fishes in a variety of sizes and colors. And he's an outstanding steelhead fisher. Now, I've seen this fly tied <clears throat> where it will be on a longer shank hook. Mm -hmm. They will do the wrap just as we did here, right. but then come to the center of the longer hook, right. tie the legs off here so it's coming yeah. down. Another clump, run to the yeah. front. Now you have a basic double leg. They can double either hook. do it that way or they can just tie it in without Another the legs. Another section. And it just depends and run on what forward. they're doing. Just exactly well, that's what you're a teeny looking nymph for. and extremely complex. Extremely complex. Nothing more than pheasant tail fibers and tan tying thread.